How's it going, guys and girls? All right. So, just got home. I just put my boat away, and then I thought, I know a video I can make for the guys. I was just chatting to the guy, um, the governor of Boatman UK the other day, and he was telling me that a lot of the repairs and a lot of the issues they have with their boats comes down to customers not looking after, one, their boat properly, and two, definitely not looking after the battery properly. Now, being a professional photographer, I know all about batteries. I've made a point of learning about it because I use so many different types. I must have... In this battery right now, I must have 200 batteries, 300 batteries at least, that I just use for my job alone. Um, so I'm well versed in looking after them because I need to get as much life out of them as possible. So I thought I'd do a little video. I'm going to do a better video, a longer video with B-roll and stuff like that, that will do a, you know, a full masterclass on it. But I thought I'd do this little video now because a lot of people are going to be in this scenario now, stopping fishing for the winter, putting their boats away, and you need to look after it. So if you have already put it away, do what I tell you now and that will make sure it's all ready and, and working well for next season. So with regards to the lithium batteries, there's a few things that I would recommend doing. One, if you can get away with it, don't charge it to 100%. Batteries, lithium batteries, don't, they, they still survive and they'll still last, but they survive better, they'll last longer if you don't whack it up to 100% every single time you charge it. They survive much better at 80%. So if you're just going out for a 24 or a 48, set, 48 hour session and you know your boat can last four or five days, what I would recommend doing is just charging it for 80. You'll know from previous experience how long it takes to charge up to 100%. So try and gauge it up to 80%, or if you've got a charger that shows you the percentage even better, just charge it up to 80% and then leave it, and then go out and use it like you normally would. When you get back, charge it up to 80% again, and repeat, rinse and repeat. And that way your battery will last as long as possible. Now, if you're going out for a big trip, you know you're not gonna have access to a charger, and you have to charge it to 100% every now and then, you know, they've got to be used at the end of the day. I'm not expecting you to, I'm not saying, you know, you're gonna to have to risk not using your boat because you don't charge it. Obviously charge it up to 100% and use it. But I'm just saying in general, day-to-day -day use, if you can get away with it, don't charge it to 100%, charge it to 80, and then that will, you know, maintain the life of the battery. All right, and that goes for any lithium batteries that you use in your fishing life. So if you've got, um, I don't know, I don't know, head torches, whatever, lights and stuff like that, you know, any lith anything that loses, uses a lithium battery, if you can get away with it, don't whack it straight up to 100%. All right, and then when you finish using your boat, uh, anything longer than, you know, when you get home and you're storing your boat for the week or you're storing your boat for, you know, a, a period of time, what I recommend doing is disconnecting the battery. That's the important thing, straight away. So what I do is, oh, hang on a second, I'm sorry, is unplug the battery. I take the battery out, disconnect it. I put all my paraphernalia in the boat, like my deeper and my little um, arm and stuff. Give the boat a thorough wipe down. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Give it a wipe all over. And then what I do is I've got these little moisture packs. Um, what do they call them? The do not eat things. Silica gel, is that right? Um, I put a few packs of silica, every, every single bit of tech that I buy that has these little silica packs in it. What I do is I chuck them in my drawer and I've got loads of them in the drawer. And then when I need them, I just you know pop them in things. So for instance, the bait boat, what I do is I just pop, you see that little opening there where the battery goes? I pop a couple of silica pack, packets in there. I put a pillowcase over it and then I store it. And then next week I pull it out, charge the battery up to 80%, pull out the silica packets, go out and use it, rinse and repeat. And then that's how I, that's how I maintain the life of my boat for as long as possible. What I would say is um, if you're storing it for a long period of time, so say for instance, if you're storing your boat for the winter, I would really, really recommend every, say three months, if I've got a bit of kit that I don't use all that often, if I only use it every now and then, what I do is every three months, I plug it in, charge it up to 100%, so I give it a right away charge right up to the top, and then I'll turn it on, I'll leave it turned on and drain the battery right the way down again. And then I'll charge it back up to 80%, and then I'll store it. And that way it keeps kind of the life in the battery. It seems, seems to keep it alive, you know. If you leave it stored for an extended period of time and just don't use it, it can, I, I'm no scientist, but I do produce it wears down the cells inside it, whatever. Um, it just doesn't keep them in tip top condition. So what I would do and recommend for your bait boat, if you're storing it now for the winter, if you're not gonna use it for an, you know, you're not gonna use it till March or whatever. So do what I said, unplug your battery, store it in a pillowcase, Stick some silica gel packets if you can find them. You can buy them online, they're cheap as chips. Um, and then maybe a cardboard box around the top of it as well. Store it in the cupboard and then set a reminder on your phone. In January, take out the boat and give it a charge. And then in January, take out your boat, give it a charge up to 100% and then turn on the power to the back, turn on the power to the boat and then just leave it. And it will take, you know, take a while to drain. Uh, but then when it does drain right to the end and it's completely out, 
plug in your battery, charge it to 80% and then just restore it. And then when it's ready to come out in March or whenever you next start, then it'll be good to go and you'll have uh, maintained the life of that battery. So that's what I recommend doing with your bait boats and any other bits of lithium iron battery kits that you've got. And uh, I hope to help someone. All right, I will make a better video on this, but this video will just help you go in if you are storing your boat now for the winter. All right, take care.